Daniel, good 4-1 win. Uh, not about wins, obviously, but uh, give us your overall thoughts on, on the performance. Uh, again, tough game for a pre-season uh, friendly game, but uh, I knew it before, to be honest, because for one, it was a spotlight game. They were also pretty close to the to the start, and of course, it was a big chance for them uh, to shine against the Premier League side, and they were unbelievably compact out of a 5-3-2 setup, and, and really aggressive and nasty and really greedy. It was a tough test for my, for my lads, because... Um, yeah, it's a bit easier when you're fresh and, and, and sharp, but even when you're tired and the muscles are hurting a bit, then against to play against such an aggressive side is, is always difficult. And I'm um, pleased with the game, pleased with the performance and also with the result. To pick out one or two maybe eye-catching moments, Adam Ida, you've clearly trusted him mm. to bring him into the first team. Did mm. we see what he's all about there with those two goals? Yes, Adam uh, has, a, has a big gift, and uh, that's his finishing. So his instinct to be at the right uh, position on the on the pitch, and then to be there with an ice cold finish, and he proved this uh, today. There, are, uh, to be honest, also several other topics in this game, and we have to improve him, and he has to improve, and we we uh, have to work with him uh, also further on. So you know my attitude. Uh, I don't like to praise the young lads too much, but it's always good for a striker, also for the self confidence when he's capable to score. Uh, and the other, obviously, Sam Byron, club announced the, the, the signing this morning. Mm. You've got him straight in. Mm. 45 minutes and he was actually heavily involved in the third goal as well. Mm. So give us your assessment of his performance. Yeah, good uh, good um, first uh, game for him. Uh, we were a bit concerned before because um, he had some busy days and yesterday a long travel. And uh, But we got the feeling in the morning uh, he was able to, to handle the load in a pretty tough session as well. We got the feeling, although he doesn't know any... Um, so everything about uh, about our game at the moment and, and many new faces also for him. Um, yeah, it's not that easy to to be involved that early, but we got the, the feeling it's the best way to to let him settle in, to throw him immediately into the cold water, and he was uh, capable to swim. So I think it was, uh, it was a solid performance, really good assist uh, in front of the goal. There were also one or two moments in the defense where we have um, we could act a bit better but in general so I think it was important for him to, to get the first minutes under his belt and uh, yeah we're happy that we have him and obviously from from Sunday when you played Bielefeld to today have you already seen in the, in the game mm. situation the guys have stepped up again and have moved forward mm. you learn out of uh, out of each every game and uh, today was a different setup of the opponent and we spoke about a few tactical necessities at, at half time and yeah also of course we analyzed the Bielefeld game and spoke about a few things in, in our pressing and also the build up so my feeling is uh, was uh, that they bought this uh, today really really good on the pitch although it was a different game but um, yeah it's it's quite important that you try to to learn each and every day especially uh, when you have the chance uh, to have so many uh, pre-season friendlies like we have at the moment to learn and to be prepared for different situations and uh, for that I like to have this uh, this tough competitions uh, also in pre-season not only just um, 11 against 11 so I like when it's a bit tricky and a bit difficult also a bit nasty it's, it's good for the lads just update fitness wise if we can on some of the guys not involved tonight um, mm. touching on Bielefeld obviously the two main, mm. main injuries was Ben Godfrey Louis Thompson where are we with those two two or three days on yeah obviously it doesn't look uh, too good so it's it's a major muscle strain but he will be out for um, a few weeks so probably three or something like this so we have to wait how quick it, uh, it will uh, settle down right now uh, if I'm honest, I'm unbelievably relieved with uh, Ben Godfrey because uh, nothing is broken. Also, uh, all the ligaments uh, seem the tendons seem to be seem to be alright. It was just unbelievably painful and it was unbelievably swollen. And uh, the first two days, he was just able to to walk on crooks. Uh, but the scan was uh, was pretty good and it seems to be that just an unbelievable hard knock and, and pretty painful but uh, when it's fallen down then everything is alright and I'm pretty hopeful that we have him back pretty soon and to be honest uh, that was uh, my biggest concern in the, in the last weeks we have some small injuries quite normal during during preseason because of the load but uh, in general this was already a topic because we had already one long term uh, injury in the centre back position with, uh, with Christoph Zimmerman and um, yeah I'm pretty relieved to be honest that uh, the diagnosis uh, was, was not too bad Positive news there, clearly, but um, no Dermich tonight, no mm. Kenny McLean. Have mm. they picked up a few little knocks? Yes, uh, uh, Kenny McLean overstretched his leg uh, this morning in the, in the training, and uh, for that he felt some pain. So I just think, um, yeah, small injury, but not but not too bad. Josep uh, felt a bit something in the hamstring after the Bielefeld game, and um, yeah, we also took the decision not to risk anything anything today. Um, yeah, because it's it's not a problem when a player misses perhaps two or three days in pre-season, but um, if, if you would miss three or four weeks, uh, then it's a problem. And for that, um, just some small injuries, nothing too bad. And finally, uh, three guys you haven't featured at all yet, Tim, Mario, Alex, just an update mm. on those three. Mm. 
Tim is uh, back in stream training uh, since uh, since this morning. He was he was able to train with us. So good news with him. Right now uh, we just have to to wait a bit till he's really game fit and ready to go in a, in a, uh, in an eleven against. Uh, 11 from the physical point of view, everything's okay, and right now he's he's able to join us during pre-season, uh, during um, during the team training. Yeah, also good news uh, for us. And um, the other two guys, Alex were, and uh, Mario. Yes, Alex uh, will join us uh, probably um, after after this uh, calf strain. Um, uh, when we're back in uh, Norwich, so the doctor said seven to ten days he will be out. The injury happened on uh, last Monday, so. I think he will be on Tuesday or Wednesday next week will be back in team training and uh, the same for Mario so sadly he missed uh, the first three weeks pre-season not, not the best start for him into this uh, into this season but I hope he's back uh, then uh, at least next week